Hello, everybody. It's me, Weezy F Baby. I'm live on my little nigga, little twist, you streams, the hottest you stream in the world. Right now, I'm at my crib, MIA, you already know, Miami Beach. I ain't gonna show you, this ain't cribs, this ain't how I'm living. I ain't gonna show y'all no tour of my crib, all I just show y'all my big ass movie screen behind us. Watch out, T, let me see the big ass. Oh, that's a big ass. See, they might think that that's a, um, Regular screen by the way it looks. And so yeah, I'm here to highlight y'all today, tonight. Oh my bad. Pardon me for being rude. Happy Halloween, you stupid mother suckers. But um, I know you see I got my Phillies hat on. I'm repping right now. I rep I'm repping for the Phillies against the Yankees. I'm not a Yankee fan. I'm sorry, all the Yankee fans out there. I don't give a damn. I'm not a Yankees fan. Um. I ain't a Phillies fan neither, but I'm just not a Yankees fan. If anybody want to know, I'm a Boston Red Sox fan. But we here to talk about no ceilings, man. I got a mixtape drop right now. You understand? Now, listen. I know a lot of y'all got the, uh, hold on. Hold on. I got to put my hair to one side because, nigga, I'm cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I fix my computer, too. I know a lot of y'all got, um, the no selling is leak, the leak version. Well, I appreciate that. I got you. I appreciate that, but I just put out the official version of no selling, meaning it's a little more better quality sounding stuff, and I added like four new songs and things like that. But Man, fuck these niggas. I I'ma say everything. Fuck these niggas. I flip the gun and gun. Fuck these niggas. Take the knife off the AK. Fuck these niggas. Yeah, and fuck these bitches. I swear I care about everything. Fuck these bitches. I, I don't care. I still fuck these bitches. And I put young nigga bit in me above these bitches. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't break it. And, and, and if he ain't shook, I'm gon' shake him Hope I don't look weak Cause when a wolf cry, wolf, you still see that wolf teeth Motherfucker I like a long hair, thick red pound Up and up, if they fillet me down, nip, nip I'ma, I'ma get head on, nip, nip If she, if she let me, I'ma on, 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 on The way back and they don't open like you supposed to Girl, I got that, knock, knock, come here, let me you You gon' be a, no friend should call you Like the brag, so my bitches brag for me. Fighting for this girl on the battlefield of love. Don't it look like baby Cupid sending arrows from above? Don't you ever leave a side of me indefinitely, not probably and honestly. I'm down like the economy. Yeah. Oh man, the year is 2008, and at this point, bro. Lil Wayne was on a dynamic run, my nigga. I mean, like, literally, bro. After dropping Carter 3 finally and shit. After getting leaked a whole year prior and shit. Dedication 3 going crazy on every feature. You could just hear from him and shit. Like, this nigga Wayne was on so many people's songs in this year, bro. Either the year really where Lil Wayne would truly, truly become like a mainstream star. Don't get me wrong, he was already mainstream and shit. Because the mid-take run he had went on previously. You know, the Carter 2 success and shit. But Carter 3 took Wayne to new heights. I mean, with Lollipop going hella play. Like, that is a diamond record now, bro. Wayne got a diamond record on his hands now, my nigga. The album took him off to like superstar status, and by 08, by 09 and shit, Wayne was on a global, global run. I mean, this nigga was like famous than fucking ever, nigga. Hey, man, you already know how this shit goes, man. If you new here, hit that subscribe button, man. If you old here, hit that subscribe button, man. If you thought you saw any one of my videos before, I mean, like anywhere, bro. Any bro, anywhere, nigga. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm not playing, man. We going crazy. Oh, 2024. We ain't got that long, man. We literally only have three more months until this year over with, bro. 
So we got to run this shit up, man. We got to get it before this year over. Hey, man. You see who we got, man. You can feel who we got, man. You read the title, obviously. You clicked on it, so you should know who we got. You can see, man. You can feel the, the aura through the screen, bro. We talking about Lil Wayne, but not just Lil Wayne. 2009 Lil Wayne, man. Y'all give him a round of applause, bro. Yes, bro. Literally, bro. This is... This is Wayne in his Super Saiyan era, bro. Man, 2009 Wayne, bro. Now, you, we already know where Run Wayne went on, like I said, at 08 and shit. But it's something about 2009 Wayne that just... It was literally a small gap between, like, post-Carter 3 era and, like, pre-Rikers Island Wayne before he went to prison the next year and shit. It was that small year and gap where it just felt like Wayne had a lot to really improve and shit. It just, it felt like he just really, really, really needed, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just, Wayne was on another level this year, bro. When it comes to just the music, there's the style he was going at, just him dominating, killing every shit he was doing this year, bro. Literally, it was a new year for Wayne, bro. It was just a crazy time being a Wayne fan, you truly had to experience this shit, bro, if you weren't already there, bro. Man, you already know how this goes, bro. So, we talking about 09 Wayne, man. One of my personal favorite eras of Wayne. Now, we done covered all Wayne, half of Wayne era so far. The only shit we haven't did, we haven't did Carter 1, Carter 2 era. I will get to that. We did Truck Fit. I, I did a video on Carter 3, but it wasn't the Carter 3. It was like the OG Carter 3. I did a video on the Carter 5. I did a video on motherfucking the Carter 4 era. But we haven't touched on 2009, bro. No ceilings era. This is really what it is. The no ceilings era, bro. Dominating crazy Wayne, bro. Wayne was honestly a 99 overall, if you want to be real. Bro. And man, I know I've been talking too fucking much, man. So you already know, bro. You and your girl go in the room, bro. Y'all just go in the room. That's it. Just go in the room. Don't eat nothing. Don't do shit. Just go in the room. Listen to me out on how long this video finna be. Man, bro. Talking about 09 Wayne, bro. We definitely have to talk about just the start of Young Money really dominating, like, the music industry, bro. Because they, they was really going crazy. Realize, bro. Cash Money had their own little era with Hot Boys, you know, Birdman, all them. They had their own little era with Wayne itself and shit. Then you had fucking No Limit and shit. You had, like, it was an era of each kind of music group and shit. So when Wayne was coming out, like, towards the end of 2000 shit, it was like Wayne turned to have that new label to dominate and shit. And he kind of did that shit the right way in the right time period. I realize, bro, after quarter three, bro, it's like Wayne really took this year, 2009, to really focus on his artists and shit. Like, this is what he really had to focus on your money and shit. And he kind of put all his shine because you got to realize, Wayne was his prime, bro. Wayne was hot like it's ever at this point bro like this nigga had the world in his hands and shit you know after after carter three bro wayne had the whole industry at, at his neck bro like he was they was on his every move putting that line putting like that spotlight on young money and shit was honestly it was the perfect time to really put that spotlight on them and shit i know the greats who comes from this record label bro like literally like Music won't be where it was without Lil Wayne and this record label Young Money, bro. It's literally put Young Money on the back burner and shit. Any greats, I mean, look, bro. Nicki Minaj, my nigga. Drake, bro. Tiger. It's like, bro, just them three right there itself just it created a new wave of music, my nigga. Like, finding Nicki and Drake, bro, and them becoming the people of the stars that they are nowadays, bro. It's honestly insane what you think about it. Realize how hot Wayne was and him signing... Two people on his record label that became global superstars, bro. It was like, I know that shit. I know Wayne had to sit every day and just think like, damn, like, I really did this shit, bro. Like, if it ain't one thing you can't say about Wayne, it's like, bro, he gave us the most biggest artist in the world, my nigga. My first time really seeing, like, remember who Nicki Minaj was, bro. If you remember the Come Up DVD tapes, bro, I remember watching all of those back in the day and shit. And, like, you know, because I was a big fan of Lil Wayne growing up. I'm still into this day. And I remember just like, who the fuck is this, like, girl and shit? Yeah, I was like, Nicki Minaj didn't even really have all the shit she had. And I'm like, she didn't have a fat ass at the time. She was like, this was normal hair Nicki, bro. This is like new york accent nikki bro like this is when she was really associating herself with like gucci man and all them niggas and shit but when wayne when she started to get with wayne and shit it's like that 
image of her started go crazy and shit, and that's when she really started becoming like the one, my nigga. It's taste and shit. She had dropped the shit, the motherfucking songs. Like, I mean, beat me up, Scotty is a classic, my nigga. And that shit really took her off to like global heights, my nigga. Same with Drake though. Why ain't discovering Drake and shit? We ain't even discovering Drake, but him signing Drake and being a part like of Drake early career and shit. When motherfucking who remember when Forever was like it was originally just Lil Wayne and Drake. Motherfucking Ransom was a class. I mean, so far gone. This that whole tape right there was just was new heights, my nigga. You know, shout out to Kanye for eight and heartbreaks, but still though, it's like Wayne just was so smart that signed these niggas and just knowing what they had going on, bro. Money though, bro. Young money, my nigga. Like, Young Money was hot, bro. This whole year of, like, music of 09, bro, was, it really was Young Money time, my nigga. Young Money, Wayne really had, like, the eyes on, everybody eyes was on Young Money. Wayne and Young Money, and this time, everybody eyes was on, bro. And then the album, We Are Young Money and shit, just was, that was a hard-ass album and shit. Now, don't get me wrong, every artist on this record label wasn't, like, hard as shit. Like, I fucked with Jay Mills, he was cool, Gutter Gutter was alright. Like, you feel me? Lil Twist was fucking trash, nigga. Corey Guns was cool. Chanel was talented as fuck. Like, I really felt like his promotion, he should have put more spot. Well, he kind of did on a Rebirth album. He kind of put a little spotlight on Chanel, but I feel like she she had, she had wanted a person that should have had a bigger career low-key too, bro. She was talented as hell. Man, we are young money, bro. This album right here, I remember when this dropped, my nigga. This shit was classic too, bro. Bear Rock was everywhere, my nigga. She got that good, good. She Michael Jackson bad. I'm attracted to her, but her attractive very. And now we murderers because we kill time. I knock her lights out and she still shine. Bear Rock was that song that you couldn't escape from on fucking MTV Jams, BT, and one of those things apart. The radio, my nigga, was playing this shit. My nigga, like, this song with Lloyd on it, bro. This was a crazy, crazy ass time in music, my nigga. Like, this was a new style and shit. But Young Money was dominating. You remember the song Roger that, bro, nigga? That was a fucking. It was a bit song, but it was a major little classic song and shit. Every girl in the world, my nigga, is personally still one of my top favorite songs and shit. This song was crazy, my nigga. Even trying to promote Lil Chucky and Lil Twist to be like the main like new star shit, kind of like Bow Wow and all them when, when Bow Wow was young and shit. He was trying to even push Lil Chucky now to be like you know some niggas that was gonna be crazy, but that shit kind of didn't work. It kind of just came away. I mean, Lil Twist kind of had a wave and shit. Who remember that song Turned Up and shit? But that was in like 2011 though. Songs him Lil Chucky, the girl I got you, kiss girl I got you. <laughs> I used to think Lil Chucky was Lil Wayne's son, my nigga. I don't know why, bro. When I was a kid, bro, I used to think that was Lil Wayne's son, my nigga. Just because the niggas, both of them niggas had dread. But Lil Wayne was kind of treating that nigga like he was his son, though. So it's like, he couldn't really deny it, but shit, I was just young as hell, basically. Young Money, bro, was a crazy label, though. Like, it, it didn't have a long run with Young Money, though. I can't lie, like, they had a couple years on they belt and shit. But really, it's like, after this main album, it had dropped another album in 2014, but... That was kind of it, though. It's just like Young Money wasn't really. It's just like no niggas besides Tiger, Drake, and Nicki didn't really just pop off like that and shit. Like they had their own separate ways, but they just didn't really pop off as as we thought they was gonna pop off. Yeah, bro. No ceilings, my nigga. The classic no ceilings, bro. Now this is regarded as Wayne best. Like, one of his best projects slash mixtapes, bro. And I couldn't disagree, bro. I personally think this is out of all the mixtapes that Wayne dropped, bro. I don't care what you say, my nigga. Y'all might say all young or some shit. I was there when this shit dropped, my nigga. So, I definitely know what I'm talking about. This is Wayne's best mixtape. No ifs, ands, and buts, bro. This is one of Wayne's best mixtapes, bro. 
definitely outside of song for the way and dedication two and all that shit, bro. The drought three and all that. This is what is Wayne best fits, hey, bro. Wayne, like, if you want to talk about just straight rapping, bro? No, no, nothing. Just straight rapping, bro. This was the tape, my nigga. Wayne was fucking spazzing on this shit, my nigga. Really, bro, he couldn't start rapping on this shit, my nigga. This shit was too fucking goaded, my nigga. And it's like every song on this bitch went off, my nigga. Wayne wasn't bullshitting, bro. He was literally on this motherfucker. He was talking his shit, my nigga. When this shit leaked and shit, this shit leaked a couple days prior before it dropped this shit. But then October on Halloween of 2009, my nigga, Wayne would officially drop it and add four new songs on it and shit. And that shit was fucking flames, my nigga. Now, like this shit, when this shit dropped, bro, this shit was everywhere, my nigga. You couldn't go nowhere. You couldn't hear a car passing by without somebody blasting one song off this tape, my nigga. Like wasted freestyle by itself, my nigga. Is already legendary as hell and shit. Now, I know this shit sound like I'm glazing. I might sound like I'm glazing, but I'm just being real, my nigga. This tape is literally crazy, my nigga. If Wayne would have... For example, if Wayne, if Wayne was to draw this shit as a studio album, my nigga, this shit would have been number one on the charts, for sure. And no ceilings, bro. Like I said, man, this is regarded as one of Wayne's best mixtape ever, my nigga. Many fans think this, but you couldn't really disagree, bro. It's just one of the things that just came and went. Like, not even came and went. It's still one of the things you could play in a fucking, like, to this day, my nigga. No songs get old. The era when Wayne was hopping on you. If Wayne, like, he was, it was already established on that, the drought three and all that shit. But if Wayne hopping on your beat at this point, bro, it was no longer your songs, bro. Like, I be forgetting that Wasted Zaguchi Man song, bro. I be sometimes forgetting that Swag Surfing is, is Fly song, my nigga. I be forgetting that Oh Let's Do It is Walker song. I be forgetting that some of these songs are, like, other people's songs, my nigga. That's just how much Wayne spazzed on it. Like, niggas prefer Run This Town Wayne version than Jay-Z and Kanye them version, bro. Like, that's how legendary this shit was. Oh, the classic songs on this bad boy, bro. Because... The bars that Wayne was spinning on this tape, my nigga, crazy, man. Like, it's crazy. The songs on this bad boy, bro, like, Swag Surf, bro, like I just said, classic, my nigga. Okay, I got this come on this Bugatti. I'm strong in this Bugatti. Two V8s ain't no such thing as driving. Come in this Bugatti, bitch, I'm bad. I'm worse. I pass. The curb don't fuck with me, cause right now I'm higher than Cap. Then curb, that's where I be the sickest nigga you can ask. The nurse, and if you throw it in a bag, I bet I snatch. Her purse, okay, I spaz. Motherfucking DOA freestyle classic. Uh, Fiji water granddaddy perk. Excuse me, I let the semi automatic burn. Blood gang, motherfucker, call me red alert. Young Carter killing order. Who get it first? Wasted, it's a classic, my nigga. Classic shit. Rockstar lifestyle, man. Jordan a bad remix, bro. One of my personal favorite joints on this motherfucker is a class. Okay, swimming in polo, sleeping in jars. I bought a cell phone and I don't even much call it. New imports make a feel important. No bullshit, nigga, no Ben Gordon. That's it, bro. Motherfucking run this town remix, like I said, classic. Nigga, we are so ready for the war. C-A-R-T-E-R, put the B and E-R. I'm cooler than B-R, add another three R. Watch me like Shit, I'm single came from this bad boy. Uh, dreads braided to the back. I'm chillin', put my swag on full attack. <laughs> and my girl actin' like a brat. So when she call, I don't answer, I just write her back. She hate it when I do that shit. And when I get home, she go do my shit. She call numbers back to see who that is. Man, I hate it when she do that shit. Oh, let's do it like with Walker Flocker, right, bro. That shit is crazy my nigga i got young money up and now i got my feet up tune in this bitch tell my niggas throw them beads up doing what the fuck i want hate me all the fuck you want real niggas fuck with me and i don't give a fuck who don't lock the ceo up and i'm the ceo fuck man from tv my nigga wayne was fucking snapping my nigga in game flow dope in the vein flow i only be smoking the purple out the rainbow stronger than drain know your boyfriend the lame -o. and if you stay with him then y'all in the same boat deep water carter Fishing for a dollar, you can join the salad. I'm splitting your tomato. Ball cause I got her. You love me in the morning. I he ran that motherfucker. Throw it in the bad remix. That nigga Wayne said you can't be broke and happy. 
to me on Mad Rich. Like, that shit always stuck out to me ever since I was a little nigga, bro. That bar right there always just stuck out to me. That was low key. It might not be a crazy bar. That was just always a bar for Wayne that I always just, like, I always just had it top of my list, bro. And you gotta realize, bro, the fire fucking features this man did this year, bro. This nigga did so many features this year, bro. But you gotta like, that's, that's honestly what the 2000s was, bro. It was literally little, like, from late 2000s, bro, to the early 2010s, it was just nothing but Wayne features, bro. You had Wayne on your song, your song was automatically a platinum hit, my nigga. That's just how it was. Bro, the features, bro, like, turn, turn me on, bro, with Kerry Hilson, my nigga. <laughs> Wish with Jada Kiss. I be on that way left shit. Better get right or get left shit. Better hit right or get left hit. Oh my nigga, that was so class. Still my shit to this day, bro. Down like she supposed to be. She gets down for me. Down like her temperature. Cause to me, she's zero degrees. She cold over freeze. I got that girl from overseas. Now she's my Miss America. Now can I be her soldier, please? It's four in your Bugatti, my nigga. Okay. That's it, verse on forever, my nigga Wayne Spaz. Okay, hello, it's the Martian, Space Jam Gardens. I wrote this shit forever. Wake up and smell the garden. Fresher than the harvest. Step up to the target. If I had one guest, then I guess I'm just New Orleans. And I would never stop, like I'm running from the cops. Hopped up in my car and told my chauffeur to the top. Life is such a fucking roller coaster, then it drops. But what should I scream for? This is my thing. That music part two, my nigga, on Rick Ross, deeper than rap album, my nigga. Oh, black payback, I'm sitting in that, sitting in that class. Here's a mother still gutter like a bad boy. Classic Need to blow with bird man get paid every 24 hours Money in the power Come come to VIP and get a champagne shower I don't have to worry because everything ours And I got a big bouquet of Mary Jane's flowers that Bumble with Drake and bro Wayne was on a different level bro this year Like this is this one year like Post I'm telling you bro post Carter 3 bro Pre Rikers Island, Wayne, bro. It, se it seemed like Wayne had so much to prove before he went to prison, bro. Cause he was doing all this before he had to go to prison, my nigga. He was pulling like a two part. It's like he had to get that music out, my nigga. Hence why he was doing so many features. Hence why he dropped no those no ceilings and shit. Yeah, like, he didn't drop an album like he didn't drop a full album. Now like, he worked on, he worked on Rebirth this year, but it didn't drop until what 2010. Like he didn't drop Rebirth until 2010, my nigga. So. We didn't get a full rap album or nothing for him and shit. Like, so he got, he, this man was just proving, bro. He was just really out here proving himself, my nigga. Ever like the Lucy songs, the leaks and shit that was coming, bro. Be steady mobbing, bro. Wang, spad. That, the beat was so hard, Wang couldn't even shut the fuck up on it, bro. That, uh, man, man, suck my clip. Swallow my bullets and don't you spit. Uh, I am the hip hop socialist. Life is a gamble when I'm all about my poker chips. Do you want a dose of this? I will make the most of this. F is for ferocious. Murder your associates. The top is so appropriate. This is just where I belong. Keep a hard dick for your girlfriend a while belong. We That's how hard that song was, bro. Wayne could even shut up on it, bro. This nigga Wayne had three, three, four whole verses on it. Gucci had his verse. But Wayne Spaz. But Wayne said, and I can make her spit for me, a steal for me, a kill for me, and of course it'll be your cash. And I murder that bitch and sell her body back to your way. <laughs> and we the bad, that's my shit, boy. And one of the underrated classic verses for Wayne on Domolition, my nigga, with Gutter Gutter, my nigga. Part one and part two, but really part one, though. And I ain't wanna talk about it. Gangsta shit right in front of you, nigga, walk around me. Nigga let me do me They know I kick it like Jet Lee, Bruce Lee And I done what they can't do me I'll put my gun up to ya Aunt Susie And blow out a doobie Pay her ruby I am a loony You niggas puny Keep it dirty like I'm lying in the ditch Like Eli, I'm from New Orleans I'm a giant in this bitch Move the G and add an S And put the I before the N 
And put the eight in front of that And that's what I am to the end That's a sight, motherfucker Simplify it for them Where your funeral comes with a second line at the end Yeah Wayne ate that shit, my nigga A classic song for Wayne That I remember bumping all the time At the time Like when I was a young nigga, bro No critter, go get her, my nigga Victory consistently, train all year to be the enemy's misery. No stress visibly, neither does it enter me. I think positively, you can't harm me mentally, not physically, not spiritually. You never get rid of me. I am the epitome of this is what you did to me. Nothing's what you did for me. Nothing's what you give to me. I take whatever I'm visioning. I break all of the limiting. I shake all of the gimmicking. The fakery, the trickery. Nurse, how sick is he? Worse, I ain't sickening. I'll be at the finish line first. How quick is he? I'ma make sure they mention me for the next century. I ain't with the big. I ain't full of dignity, I ain't full of energy Pull out the inner me, a bull after dinner me I stood in the winter heat, it could be the end of me But could be defending me, yeah This is one of Wayne's personal underrated songs. And Wayne don't even really curse on this song for real, bro. He just fucking spasses with his verses, my nigga. He just eat like this shit up, my nigga. Classic song for Wayne. Brian, my nigga, like Kobe Bryant. Like, I, we all know the, the Kobe Bryant triple set that's on NBA 2K24 and shit. We all know that shit, my nigga. That's the new version, though, my nigga. That's the version that got added on those ceilings when those ceilings got added to stream services and shit. And which is one thing I, I hate, too, bro. The no ceilings that's on Scream services don't got none of the songs from the OG. I don't know if it was clear samples, but he added Kobe Bryant, the Kobe Bryant song going after Kobe died back in 2020 and shit. But the new verse was kind of ass, my nigga. He added a new current verse, like with his current flow and shit. It was kind of ass, my nigga. So I always go back to the OG version and he spazzes on this shit, bro. Okay, Old job, my nigga, with Wayne rap fast as fuck on the song, my nigga. I usually don't do this. Wayne music in this time was crazy, my nigga. Like, truly had to be there to experience. Now, if you watching this and you truly didn't experience the Wayne era, bro. It's like, man, bro, this man was, at one point, it was unstoppable and shit. Like, this nigga deserve to be on the Super Bowl, bro. But I can't, I'm not gonna discredit Kendrick, though, because I know Kendrick gonna do his fucking thing, but Wayne, like, like, niggas out here really acting like Wayne just ain't got classes. Like, just ain't out here really, you feel me, was doing this shit back in the day, my nigga. Wayne was, like, the biggest nigga in the world at one point in time, bro. Your favorite rapper is inspired Playboy Cardi, my nigga. Playboy Cardi just posted his new cup art to I Am Music. And that's one of my favorite rappers nowadays and shit. But you gotta realize, bro. Where you think I Am Music stems from, bro? When he got, when Wayne got this fucking tattoo right here, bro. It's just like, man, your favorite rapper is inspired by this man, bro. Just from this one year right here, bro. Crazy words. Oh, man, bro. After Carter 3 ended up going, selling a million records first week in 08, Dominate going platinum, just really Dominate, been every song on this, been on the radio and shit, this has been an everybody rotation at the time, and 09, bro, Wayne will win his first ever Grammy Award, my nigga, for rap best album, my nigga. Well deserved, bro, but you gotta realize the people he was going against this year, bro. Wayne was going against, like, bro, he went against Jay-Z, American Dream, which American Gangster, which is a classic. T.I. Paper Trail was a classic. Nas, a classic. Lupe the Cool was a classic. Bro, Wayne went against all that shit. And it's like any other albums could have won this shit. Like, the category was stacked, my nigga. It's like they couldn't even deny that Wayne didn't, des like, Wayne deserved that shit, bro. Especially out of his album getting leaked and shit the year prior, bro. And it's selling a million records and shit. Like, bro, it's like, bro, this shit was well deserved, bro. And Wayne ended up getting that Grammy, my nigga. And it, it, was, a, it was a true moment, bro. Cause it's just like, damn, bro. Like, Wayne really, like, he deserved that shit. It was, like, a true moment in time. I really feel like this was the last really major Grammy show, bro. 
I feel like after this, they truly just didn't know what to do. Like, the Grammys just being shit after this, my nigga. Because you got to realize the, the albums that was getting category that year and shit. It's like, that was the last major year of, like, Wayne just, you know. Not even Wayne, just the Grammys was on top, bro. We know we got to do a deep dive for the two Rebirth, though. Now, I kind of, if you go on my channel, my playlist of Wayne, I kind of did a little video on Rebirth and shit. So, I'm not really going to get too much into Rebirth. But I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Rebirth, man, bro. This was honestly a crazy, crazy time and album of Wayne and shit. Now, this went like Wayne was gotten it. Like, after Carter 3 and shit, he started getting his bag with the experiments and shit. And like, 09 and shit. And this when he really, really started, like, just kind of going on a new genre and shit. Like, with the rock and shit. Like, it was honestly crazy for a nigga to be so hot in his career. To just drop all that rap shit. It just give us a fucking rock album, my nigga, and shit. Now, I know this album dropped in 2010, but it got leaked and all the promotion for it started in 09 and shit. It just didn't come out officially until 2010, but that's besides the shit. But Wayne dropping this album right here, bro. Like, Prom Queen was like a different type of vibe from just Wayne in general, my nigga. It's like, what the fuck? Like, this nigga just give us a classic album in 08. To just drop in a whole rock album on niggas, bro. That shit was honestly crazy as hell to experience, bro. Shout out to Wayne for even attempting this shit, like, in general, bro. Like, he really was the blueprint for many rappers. Like, now, nowadays, it's cool for a rapper to drop a rap, rock album. This time, it wasn't cool, bro. Wayne was like, what the... F like, it was like, niggas was like, what the fuck? Nigga, Wayne dropped like, nigga, that shit was considered the worst shit ever, my nigga. Like, with the auto-tune, niggas was like... Niggas like the rock heads wasn't even considering this shit a rock album, my nigga. It was just a crazy time, but like I said, shout out to Wayne for attempting this, bro, for even giving this shit a shot, my nigga. Now it wasn't just fully a rock album though. It was, it was like a rap slash rock album. Cause Wayne was rapping, my nigga. It just the the instrumentals was fucking rap and shit. A different time, my nigga. Just a different time, bro. Wayne, man, bro. Oh nah, Wayne in general, my nigga. Like it's like when I think of this time, bro, I just reminisce, bro. That's all. I just reminisce, man, cause. That's all we can do. It's like Wayne this year was unstoppable, bro. Like this was a he was a different beast, my nigga. Like he was a different type of animal this year, my nigga. This nigga then like it's like this nigga was on a different type of run, my nigga. Like this was personal for Wayne, bro. It was personal because y'all gotta realize the next year after 2010, my nigga. Wayne got locked up, my nigga. He had to serve eight months in prison, my nigga. So it's like Wayne was really just giving his all and shit. Like, you would think this nigga was finna do 20 years the way, like, this nigga was putting out this music and shit. Wayne just had no choice but to dominate and just kill shit, my nigga. And he didn't stop, my nigga. It was honestly a perfect time to witness, my nigga. Like, any rapper, like, it's like rappers are scared of Wayne this time, my nigga. Like, niggas couldn't deny that this nigga run was crazy, my nigga. Like, this shit was another level for Wayne. Like, many people like to credit, like, say this was, like, the last really good time of Wayne shit. Like, there, I disagree on that because I, you feel me? I got hella Wayne videos on my page where I talk about how I felt about Wayne in other years and shit. But it's just, like, this specific year of Wayne was just different, my nigga. It was different, man. I really enjoyed making this video, my nigga. Like, this video, I was, like, I ain't never just... I smile at all my videos, but I, I was smiling this whole video. Recording this, bro, because this shit was just bringing me back, my nigga. It was taking me back to a time where I just know we can't get back, my nigga. Like, damn, man. Like, Wayne, it just it just was time you had to really be there, bro. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video, man, y'all get a video. Big ass thumbs up, man, bro. Like I said, man, say every video, y'all. I love and appreciate every single one of y'all for supporting, watching, commenting. And when I post a poll, voting, just anything in general, bro. All the love support y'all have been showing me, bro, like the past couple months, like past two, two months has been amazing, bro. I never thought in a million years I ever have a support base where... Where people would just fuck my videos like i never imagined that shit like i've been doing this youtube shit for so long y'all my nigga like it had been times i wanted to quit this shit but i never let it get to me i would just stay grinding stay prayed up with god and just kept going and it's just it's crazy to see that y'all mess with these videos the way y'all do man because y'all it's so many things y'all can watch bro and it's like y'all take the time to watch your boy boy videos bro i'll be just yapping about shit that just be this shit, I just know, I just love to talk about, and it's crazy how other people fuck with this shit too, my nigga. Because, like, 
it's just honestly crazy. I be speechless like sometimes. I realize that oh shit, they know this shit too. Oh, they know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, that's crazy. Like that shit is genuinely crazy, bro. And it's honestly crazy. And I, and I hope for y'all, this is like, I hope for y'all, it's the same way. Like I hope it be like, oh shit, like it's other people besides me that know this shit. Oh, it's crazy that oh bad. I got a video on this shit. Like now people can understand what I'm talking about. You feel me? Cause that's why I make these videos, man. I like to show people like you feel me, so people can understand what I'm talking about. Like, cause it's many. Come on, we get credit to certain eras to artists, but some people don't get credit to the eras that truly really need to get sh like shot, like showed on. And I don't like that shit. So I feel like if I got a platform, I'ma do it. I said, man, I thank y'all, love y'all, and I thank God like every day, every second of the day, man, because I love and appreciate God so much for what He doing, bro. And that just I can't do them be thankful, man. I got way, way, way more videos coming, bro. Oh, like we only getting started, y'all, bro. Like we got we rolling out the rest of this year with bangers, my nigga. Let me know in the comments what y'all want to see, bro. I'm doing everything, my nigga. I'm doing music my next couple of videos probably gonna be on producers and shit i haven't touched on that yet but i did say i was gonna make videos on that currently so i know for sure i made the videos of producer i know for sure i'm gonna make a video on top the creator um just a lot of videos i got on the way y'all like i i really don't know what to make next because i be having so many ideas and what to make so just let me know what y'all want to see in the comments man y'all can say y'all check my community when i post a post on what y'all want to see and yeah man